Okay. Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee Vlog. In this video, we're gonna do a little review of this uh, Vessel Java Manual Coffee Grinder. Doing a little taste test. I just brewed some coffee with this, and I've never done this before where I, you know, sat down and consciously compared a pour over to an AeroPress. But the goal with that was to really just kind of see uh, what kind of clarity came through with this type of grinder, okay? So in this review, there's not too many out there, which is why I, I thought about putting one out. Um, we're gonna do a little taste test together. Um, I'll let you know why I bought it, the purpose for this particular one, um, the grind consistency, what's that about, I'll show you some pictures, and then if I could recommend it. Let's get into it. Let's taste these really quick. So I brewed first a pour over, which is right here. Um, let's give that a whirl. All right. Ooh, okay, cool. Really quickly off the bat, my AeroPress brew is better than my pour over brew. And that's the big reason why I like AeroPress because there's minimal user error. With pour over, I think it tends to be a lot more skill driven in terms of a brewing you know, method, um, you know, you've got to get the extraction just right. And there could be a lot of flub in that area. So what I'm tasting is that it just tastes a bit under extracted, um, in my, uh, pour over V60 versus my AeroPress, um, both same grind, same settings with this grinder, um, fuller, richer, more balanced. That was cool. I've never done that before. So I definitely prefer my AeroPress um, brew. These are both decaf, by the way. Um, they are from a Honduras mountain water decaf, my second attempt on a sample. Um, yeah, so it's not even roasted perfectly like a full batch, but very good. Let's talk about purpose. So the reason why I got it, number one out of all the things was for camping, I wanted it to be durable. There are some out there that are very pretty, like made of wood, made of metal for sure, um, the plastic ones, but I wanted something to be super durable and to just last me forever. I really didn't want to buy another one. Second, design, aesthetic. It's really pretty, isn't it? I mean, it looks rugged, but it looks also modern. Um, it's very functional. Uh, this was a Kickstarter thing I found out, sort of like in the last leg of my Google searching. Um, and I've been searching for a long time of what I was gonna buy for a manual grinder because my first manual grinder or intro into manual grinding was the the cheap Hario plastic one, plastic burrs. There's a difference. There's a big difference between grinding with that, even though it's a burr. Um, it's definitely better than a blade, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was never really up to the quality of my little semi-pro Capresso grinder here that I have. The flavors were just kind of muddled. There was not a lot of clarity. And what I'm learning is the better the grinder, the more clarity you're potentially going to have so that you can recognize and actually taste all the layers that a coffee has to offer you. Granted, you roasted it well, you brewed it well, right? Um, <laughs> so what I'm really looking for in terms of grind quality in the cup is clarity of flavors and, and, uh, definitely I think certain manual grinders, uh, suit certain brews. Does that make sense? So for sure, what I got this for was for camping. And I think that even though the grind quality, if we step into grind quality real quick, um, even though it's not consistent, I'm gonna show you some photos here where the medium setting on this, and that's subjective too, there's 50 notches that you can turn to on this grinder. Um, and, the, and the medium that I found that, that works well with my AeroPress and all that stuff um, is still inconsistent. Uh, but the fact that the AeroPress brew method, I think makes up for user error one, and um, I'm brewing a really good coffee, a really good taste in coffee, so that helps a lot too. Um, so even though I'm not getting the best grind, it's gonna be awesome when I'm camping, right? So when I'm camping, I really just want to know that I'm tasting all of the main notes of the coffee that I've roasted for myself or the what, what I, that I bought, right? I bought a specialty quality, uh, specialty quality coffee. I wanna be able to taste that in the cup. I think this grinder is gonna give that to me when I'm out there 
camping. I think in the cup and for the AeroPress, I think it's really good. I've been um, doing this and having a couple brews since I got it. So I've done a good, you know, 10 brews already, uh, 10 grinds already with this grinder. And I've been kind of using it every day, which I didn't plan on doing that. I really didn't like, um, I think it's good enough for me though. So for me, I was looking for something for camping, durable, a great design, um, easy to use, uh, single serve for me only just because um, I'm the only one that drinks coffee, so, you know, cool. Um, but I didn't really expect it to be like a daily driver in terms of a grinder. Um, and I'm surprised by that because it only takes me 30 seconds to grind a full 20 grams or whatever it is. It says 20 grams. I filled it to the brim and I grind away. Um, I think it's probably a little over that. Just because from eyeballing it for so many years, it just seems like a little bit more. For me, I'm not gonna take the time to measure that out right now, but they say 20 grams, okay? Um, the grind motion and the act of doing this, like I said, it only takes me 30 seconds. That was a big upgrade from my Hario plastic one where it took me at least a minute. I don't know, I felt like I was there for a minute. <laughs> I was there for a while, um, grinding away a medium grind and uh, it was not very good, right? So I wasn't really motivated to use it. This, I'm definitely motivated to use it. One, because it's so pretty. Um, it's very smooth. Uh, this thing does not come off like accidentally. Like I think the Tina, Tina Moore or whatever had that complaint. So I, you can go full speed ahead and it's not gonna come off. It really takes you know, a conscious effort to take this out. It's pretty deep wedged in there. And this too, this little extension, it doesn't come back in uh, accidentally when you're grinding as well. So it's a solid feel. I really like it. I really like this uh, snap-in design. Um, it might have been cool here too, but maybe um, with all the grinds that come in here from this screw mechanism, it, needed, it just needed to be screw. But this is very satisfying too. There's a weight to the bottom of it. It just, it's so smooth. It feels good. It sounds good. Um, and it fits in my hand. I'm a small person. I'm 5'1", so this is perfect for me. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, you know, the biggest like sell for this or one of the biggest sells was the carabiner latch and I'm like, that's cool, but I don't think I would just have this flashing to everybody while I'm like, you know, like if I were to go on a plane or something like that. No, I, I probably have this, you know, my AeroPress. Um, a can of uh, beans and maybe a portable cup and put and throw that all in a cotton bag and then call that my coffee kit and hide it and guard it like precious gold. <laughs> Super cool, enjoyable uh, grinding experience and um, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it every morning and every coffee break. I look forward to it. There's more connection here for sure. And I heard that before and because I didn't want to spend $150 or whatever crazy stuff that they're coming up with right now. I got the cheapest one and it was not motivating. I didn't feel cool using it good. Um, it, it got stuck a lot and it took forever. So yeah, if you are going to go this route, you know, go that route, you know, like if you're going to go here, <laughs> like get something that you're actually going to be motivated to use that looks pretty to you you know, that you're motivated to go and be like, yeah, I can't wait to have coffee with this, with this grinder, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a surprise for me now that I'm gonna use it every day, you know? And definitely as I keep, let's, let's keep tasting this. Yeah, fantastic. The chocolate's coming through, the fruit's coming through. I think that's perfect. Um, that was really important to me. When I was using that crappy grinder out in my camps and I had everything was pretty legit you know I had this like fancy cup I had the fancy heater and the grinder one of the most important things I had not upgraded and uh, it really took me a long time to land on this one just because I was like man it's like I don't want like the best burrs but then the design looks all funking like the Lido like that looks weird <laughs> as far as the adjustment on the grind size it's going to be a trial and error at least you know, um, it's got 50 clicks on here. At least you know this way is finer and that way is coarser. So that's good, right? Um, if you have some stale coffee lying around, that's how you could just like, you know, dial it in for yourself 
and then kind of like set it and forget it but I would just set it at medium medium fine for your AeroPress um, maybe not your pour over uh, and be good and just set it and forget it it has a pretty good consistent fine grind but yeah, it would take forever. <laughs> it would take forever. I was there grinding at the finest setting. It only had produced a smidge of very fine and consistent uh, coffee. But um, yeah, it was just taking forever. I was like, okay. Um, and then the coarse one, yeah, it's chunky. Um, but I mean, are you really going to make French press or some kind of um, French press thingy? Uh, with 20 grams of coffee probably not right so yeah so would I recommend it if you want something for camping yeah for sure because like for camping you want the durability you want the packability you want it to look nice you want it to be fast and convenient to use and good design so yes 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 on a camping front um, and it's decent is decent uh, grind quality for sure you could taste that and you will taste that in the cup but if you're not using it for camping or travel, then I think you should probably look for a different one for sure. I think you should look for something uh, more aesthetic. This is definitely a rugged kind of vibe and, and um, contemporary vibe. So for this to sit on your countertop where everything else looks different than it, I think that makes sense to kind of pay attention to. The pri And the price tag, let's talk about the price tag. So $150, I thought it was kind of steep. I was like maybe, uh, maybe like a 115, but you know, it's a Kickstarter item. They spent a lot of money here on this packaging, which is whatever. I get it. You know, like packaging makes sense. Uh, but I know you pay not all of that 150 is going towards this, which this is really well made. I mean, I really like it. Um, but yeah, there's a very nice packaging that comes with it, but it's not like I saw this, you know, when I, it's not, this is not what sold me. It was that rugged vibe and everything, this. It comes with this bag that I already got dirty. <laughs> I think it's awesome for wiping your tools down. I think that's the, that's what I use it for. And I'll put my little, you know, AeroPress paddle in there. What I'm seeing now after about 10 uses is that coffee does get stuck inside of here. Find the finer parts, right? Because it's not, it's not a consistent grind. And so it will need some regular clearing with the brush, but they give you the brush, so that's cool. Again, when you're out camping, you want a good cup of coffee. You don't want a crappy cup of coffee. This is gonna do you fine, really good, I think. I can't wait to take this with me. And uh, it's really enjoy to be enjoyable to use every day. So that's what I think. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you later.